Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and uh, on 27th of June, Mars is going to transit to the next sign which is the sign of Aries. So currently Mars is in the sign of Pisces uh, for another 9 days and on 27th he is going to enter the sign of Aries, which is the Mula Tricona sign. Okay, so uh, this chart that you see um, here uh, is of uh, 6 a.m. New Delhi, India, uh, 27th of June. Okay, so Mars and Rahu will be conjunct and Moon will be in the sign of Taurus. Mercury, Venus will also be in Taurus. Sun, as expected, will be in the sign of Gemini and Ketu is in the sign of Libra, which is pretty obvious if Rahu is in Aries and Jupiter is still direct uh, in the sign of Pisces. He will go retrograde in July and Saturn, as usual, is still retrograde, uh, but he has not yet reached Capricorn, right? So... Currently, Mars is in Pisces, uh, where he's conjunct Jupiter. Okay, so this is a very uh, peculiar energy uh, because uh, now he's conjunct Jupiter, and then after ten days, he's going to enter Aries, where he's conjunct Rahu. So it, it's like a planet which represents Tamoguna, which is Mars, which represents like anger, aggression, passion is now with the sattvic planet jupiter uh, and then he is going to uh, be conjunct with another tamasic planet which is rahu okay and if you see uh, this conjunction is receiving the aspect of saturn from aquarius okay so therefore uh, this is a very uh, intense transit because uh, things could move in the either ways right so what happens when tamasic planets uh, go get together right so now the sign of aries which is also the sign of mars also shows a lot of uh, rajas and tamas okay so the thing is um, tamas is more in aries than rajas okay now what we need to understand uh, is two tamasic planets are getting conjunct in a tamasic sign right so this can make life a bit challenging but that doesn't mean that life has to be bad okay so for example if um, let's take an example if you have an exam and for example you need to study you have the exam in august right or maybe july so now you want to study right so you have to study at all costs right at least you're supposed to so then uh, what do you say is this a bad conjunction or this a good conjunction because 99 percent of the times people will ask this the same question repeatedly over and over and over again is this good bad good bad good bad good bad good bad good bad what will happen right so this conjunction can be very difficult for you if you are running away from things all right it will force you to sit down and get things done otherwise if you have a tendency to leave things to the universe <laughs> as in india sometimes they say ram bharose bhagwan bharose right god will take care of it right so as if god has no other business he is like uh, jobless idiot who is just sitting to get our tasks done right so so this so if you have this mentality then uh, this conjunction is going to wreak havoc in your life because this will put you in such a precarious situation where you have to work there is no chance for you to give in to lazy, laziness and if you do that you will face severe consequences so you have to get because see when planets go in uh, conjunction with tamoguna planets what happens is you feel 
the urge to get rid of tamoguna okay so it's like you so imagine uh, you have an exam and and you are not studying right so you don't feel any need uh, to study you know you, you feel yeah just be relaxed you know? so you are not experiencing the pain of studying right but when planets go in tamoguna then you will experience the pain of studying because now you have to because you do not have any other option right so therefore please prioritize things properly okay now of course it doesn't mean um, that the every area of your life will be difficult it doesn't mean that uh, this means the houses that mars rules in your horoscope um, it, it it is going to be a bit tough because there might be certain things which you might have wanted to ignore now why do i say ignore because why did i say uh, by god's will or not by god's will you leave something to god ram bharo say because currently mars is transiting in the sign of Ari- uh, pisces right it's 18 june and mars has not yet entered aries so therefore pisces is a very interesting sign it can either make you detached or it can make you responsible one of the two you will always see a pisces moon or a pisces ascendant or prominent pisces if the atma karaka is in a pisces or sun moon or ascendant lord in pisces you will always see they will either be very detached which means they will do their best and then leave the rest to god that's the right way of taking things and doing things in life you do your best but you do not uh, remain obsessed about the results as lord krishna says in the gita right to arjuna that oh arjuna do your duty don't be obsessed with not doing your duty and don't be obsessed with the out- outcome right of course we should be outcome oriented which means we should work in a way that the outcome is good but we should not be attached to it if there is no outcome or if the outcome is not as per our expectation or to the degree that we want it so or um, or uh, so this is like you do your work you take full responsibility and then whatever comes as per your karma and by god's desire you accept it right so that is the good version of pisces okay you will see many pisces ascendants who have a good horoscope if you tell them too much about oh but will you get this result will you get money you will get will you get this will you get that they'll say yeah anyways leave it you know we will do our part what we will try our best and leave the rest to god okay so whatever god gives we'll accept it so either you will find pisces people who uh have this attitude or they will have a very pessimistic attitude or they will say oh anyways this is beyond my dif- my level you know i can't do anything i can't do much rather so i have either left it so it's like they they might have a tendency to run away from things okay of course this is very much subjective to the horoscope so i am not generalizing but you will see one of the two natures very predominantly in people who have a prominent pisces or sometimes they may oscillate between the two also so if a dasha is good they may uh, behave in a responsible manner but yet being very detached and if the dasha is not good then they may behave in a very irresponsible manner and say things like oh the universe will take care of it right that's the problem if the universe has a lot of other things to do right other than taking care of our uh, our karma basically right of course it takes care but sometimes in ways that we don't like so therefore you have to ask yourself irrespective of the fact you have a prominent pisces in your horoscope or you don't it doesn't matter but because mars is in pisces now so the houses that mars rules in the horoscope you may experience a similar flavor okay so therefore you got to ask yourself this question uh where am i in which category of pisces do i fall in do i have i done everything and then i leave everything i have left everything to god or did i not do anything and then i'm like okay god will take care of it right god will provided you also <laughs> okay so <coughs> therefore uh you might feel that uh things are going a bit out of control 
but now that is why i am making this video 10 days earlier okay because uh, the thing is uh, this transit is happening on 27 so now even now you have the time you have at least one week right you see this video today or on 19th or 20th so you still have one week so whichever houses mars rules in your chart so which houses does mars rule so for example in this uh, chart this is the chart of sunrise of 27th uh, june new delhi india 6 uh, 1 so then if you are gemini lagna for example in your original birth chart then mars rules the 11th house right and he rules the 6th house okay so something to do with wealth gains profession uh, why do i say profession because sixth house also shows your daily job your profession right so something to do with your daily work um, something which you do in a very routine repetitive manner may not be your profession but it can be anything it can be your exercise routine your spiritual routine or your uh, routine of uh, doing Right, right, writing something or you know, it it can be anything. The number of things which it can be, right? So these, so your routine could be very adversely affected. Okay, which means uh, you might feel that it's very difficult to continue with the routine that you thought you will have or the routine that you were already following before. Okay. So therefore, it's very crucial that by the time 27 comes, you make a note of the houses that Mars rules in your chart. Okay. So once you do that, then you try to see what are the things that you are working on and what are the things that you are leaving it on God. Okay. Of course, you should leave it to God, but first you should do your best and only then you should leave it to God. Okay. And of course, uh, because Rahu is also present in the sign of Aries, uh, you could get this feeling that it's either very easy or it's never going to happen. Rahu gives you one of the two feelings. Oh yeah, Rahu can tell you, oh yeah, what the hell is this? You know, It's just a matter of, uh, as in Hindi, they say, na, bai, bai o dai hat ka khel hai. <laughs> bai hat ka khel. So... So therefore, you got to ask yourself if you are being overly optimistic more than what you should be or you are being overly pessimistic, one of the two, right? So you should not be in one of the extremes. So therefore, if you feel that uh, you are overly optimistic, then please make a realistic estimate of the things that you might need and then objectively analyze right and try to try to see that when uh, the time comes will you be able to fulfill the requirements and expectations as they say the more you uh, sweat in training the less you bleed in war right so it's better to sweat when you are in training rather than to bleed when you are in war, right? And of course, if you are too pessimistic, then you should still make a note of the things which you can handle, which you think you can change, right? Um, may not be everything, but there will be something, a part of the thing that you are pessimistic about, which you will be able to change. So focus on that which you can change and gradually you will be able to focus on that which you think as of now which you can't change. Okay. So once this is clear, once you are clear with the expectations, then you know. But even then, you got to put in the effort, right? So it, it won't happen uh, just because you made a realistic estimate or just because you um, took a good guess a calculated guess rather or a ca calculated risk rather 
Uh, it doesn't mean that it will just happen. You still have to put in the effort, but at least you have one week now to make the estimate, right? That will give you uh, the good numbers basically. And Saturn is aspecting this. So there could be a deep sense of pessimism involved with it. And of course, we have uh, planets like Mercury, Venus, and uh, Sun, which are in Taurus, and uh, Gemini, of course. So this is a bit, this will help Mars, okay? Because uh, when Sun is in Gemini, you can actually think, at least you can start to think, basically, right? And because Mercury and Venus are in Taurus, they, that they can give you a, a stable bent of mind. Okay. And they can inspire you to um, make a calculated guess. Right. So Taurus and Gemini, these are beautiful qualities. Right. But of course, uh, you should understand that at the end, because Jupiter is still in Pisces and he will be there. So there are certain things which you will have to leave to God, right? There, even if you try everything, it, it may happen that things are not moving as per your expectation. So once you do your best, then you leave it to God, right? So this is how you should analyze this transit. Um, and I hope in the upcoming 7, 8, 9 days, we will be able to make a calculated guess and um, face the reality, right? So, Aries is the first sign, first sign where things begin. So, it's like you, you are astonished to see the reality, right? But you've got to understand that the reality will hold true irrespective of the fact you like it or you don't. So, rather than averting it, rather than dismissing it, face the reality and be victorious. Why do I say victorious? Because Mars rules Aries. It's the multricone sign, right? So till 10th of August, this conjunction will be there. Mars Rahu in the sign of Aries. And I hope we can all make the best use of it and control our weaknesses and go beyond our challenges and triumph. All right. Thank you very much for your patience. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me, please go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you and he will help you overcome or triumph this journey through Mars, Rahu, and Aries. Okay. Thank you very much.